Hello, I'm Lou DeBaca, Ambassador at Large to Modern and Combat Trafficking in Persons. So much of what we do at the State Department to fight modern slavery depends on strong partnerships with the non-governmental community. Through our foreign assistance grants, we work together to develop new and promising practices in prevention, protection, and prosecution around the world. Our grantees are on the front line of this struggle. Among other things, you enhance victim services in the Philippines, bring together stakeholders in Nicaragua, and maintain one of the only shelters for women and girl victims in the DRC. Your work lets us know what efforts are making the biggest difference and where gaps exist in the way we respond to this crime. In fact, we've worked with our partners across the U.S. government to develop a new booklet of promising practices. I hope you'll take the time to go take a look at it on our website. Each year, my office receives more requests for funding than we'll ever be able to meet. And that's especially true in today's tight budgetary environment. That's why we look for projects that'll give us the biggest bang for the buck. We look for applications that push, push the envelope and bring innovative approaches to the issue. So what do you need to know about this year's solicitation? Well, we're hoping to fund the same number of NGOs as we have in the past, maybe even more. But as you prepare your proposal, you should know that we're doing things a little differently this year. First, NGOs and universities will no longer have to compete against the international organizations, such as the UN offices or the IOM. We'll continue to work with our IO partners, of course, but that funding will be kept separate. Second, the list of countries we're prioritizing is shorter than in previous years, and the solicitation is more targeted to what we've identified as pressing needs. We hope that this will allow us to make the best use of everyone's time and energy during the RFP process. We're also taking advantage of our new media platforms to provide more information and be more responsive to your concerns. I urge you to send us questions through the website. We'll post responses along with updates on this year's solicitation on the website, on our Twitter feed, and our Facebook page. I look forward to reviewing your proposals and continuing to work with you to move forward in this effort. We all know that so much work remains, but by working in partnership, we can continue to build a world where every person's freedom and dignity are protected. A world in which governments, the private sector, academics, and NGOs come together to work on behalf of survivors. A world free from slavery. Thank you.